According to the website dedicated to Greek museums, Greece.org, the Heraclean Museum in Greece boasts an extensive collection of artifacts of the Cretan inhabitants dating from the Paleolithic era through the Roman occupation, primarily dedicated to the pieces from the Minoan and Mycenaean time periods. Among the various other pieces sits a golden pendant about 4.6 centimeters in height with multiple ridges and droplets of gold decorating the various regions. It is known as the Gold Honeybee Pendant of Malia. This piece was discovered in the necropolis of the Minoan Palace of Malia on the island of Crete from around 1800 BCE. This cemetery is named Chrysalacus, translated the Pit of Gold, due to the plethora of precious objects also found within. Collectively, the size of the palace and the multitude of expensive objects inside the graves suggest those buried here were quite wealthy for their time. The pendant comprises two bees, most likely workers, placing a droplet of honey inside a honeycomb which they are holding between them. Their wings are outstretched in opposite directions, with their bodies curved in towards each other, ultimately making a symmetrical emblem that was most likely worn on a wealthy woman of Crete. In cultures such as the ancient Near East, Egypt, and the Aegeans, the bee was revered as an entity which connects the natural world to the underworld, and we know how the Egyptians loved death. This explains why the pendant was buried in a tomb, and also explains why the tholos of Mycenae were shaped like a beehive. Ultimately, the pendant could be seen as a charm, which is thought to connect the individual with the goddess Potnia, or the pure mother bee, which should guide or assist in the life after, as the bee network was seen as a symbol of the interconnectedness of the natural world. According to Reynold Higgins in his book Minoan and Mycenaean Art, the metalwork of this piece is rather extensive as it demonstrates the jewelry manufacturing technique known as granulation, or the placement of small droplets or granules of precious metals on the surface of the piece, affixed to the metal with an adhesive and copper salts. This is seen in areas like the honeycomb, around the bee's eyes, in strips on the thorax, and on the spheres which loosely dangle from the centerpiece. Additionally, the bee's wings are outlined with a system of ridges adding to the definition which leads to the conclusion that the Minoan craftsmen were extensively skilled and dedicated to the piece, reinforcing the importance of the bees on the culture. This is reinforced in the development of beekeepers in the Mycenaean culture. The artwork that I will be discussing today is King Sunsurit III. He was the fifth monarch of the 12th dynasty. He ruled the country for perhaps as long as 37 years as the fifth pharaoh of Egypt's 12th dynasty. His time lasted from about 1878 until 1841 BC. Sansur was this king birth name, which means man of godness. Warshrit. The statue was made by the Egyptians and in remembrance of one of their great pharaohs of the 12th dynasty. It was pretty much a freestanding work of art. The statue, you can see that he is wearing a head cloth with a cobra in the center. The facial expression on this <clears throat> excuse me. The facial expression on this statue looks very serious and makes him look as some sort of tough leader. It's very detailed in the facial features and the rest of the torso area. You can see a very clear expression on his face. The lines in the head cloth are carved neatly in which you can see the yellowish and goldish color under the black top layer. Looking down by the chest you can see that he is wearing some sort of chain with an emblem on it hanging in the middle of his chest. As we move down <clears throat> As we move down to the midsection, right under his belly button, you can see he is wearing a belt.
His hands are positioned differently. One hand is laying flat down on his lap. The other is kind of balled into a fist placed on his lap. You can tell that they placed him seated. With that being said, you notice the image going down the side of each side of the artwork. 